Wow, I think that um, when we started seeing these very, very profound brain scans where we were capturing levels of coherence in the brain that really were never recorded in the history of neuroscience before, and not only coherence, but a level of energy that was never recorded in the history of neuroscience in the brain. And I realized that <clears throat> people who have the ability to suppress this mechanism called the thinking brain, the analytical mind, the, the seat of our personality or identity, our connection to everything known in our life, our memory bank of the self, that <clears throat> there's a formula that as you begin to suppress that thinking brain, consciousness falls right into the limbic brain, the seat of the autonomic nervous system there. And it is the student's ability to tune into energy and frequency. That once they lock into a frequency, it is frequency, the arousal that's taking place in the brain is not coming from some threat or predator in their outer environment. And the arousal isn't producing the hormones of stress that create emotions like aggression or anger or fear or pain. In a sense, they're having an arousal and it's creating ecstasy or bliss. Now, <clears throat> when someone tells you about that experience, most of us would say, oh yeah, that sounds really great. But when you see a brain that's doing that and we see several of the same patterns happening over and over again with, with different people, anything that's repeatable like that, any, a, a trend like that has become science. And so when a person's having that experience and you're seeing it on the brain, you're very interested in what was going on subjectively with that person. So I think we're getting uh, really good at refining this formula and teaching people how to upgrade the human operating system and gain information from the field instead of the long, tedious uh, trial and error of how we evolve in three-dimensional reality. And, and um, the side effect of that is instantaneous healing. The side effect of that is a transformation of matter in a, in a matter of seconds.